right? Hey guys, Rob Sugrab here with Restore Fitness, and I made a video last week on these uh, using these hammock straps. Uh, this is the Bear Butt brand, B U T T. Thumbs up with that. I think that's hilarious. I do too. Uh, I seem to get. I got some good feedback from people. People seem to like this. I was talking about how it's. Um, Kind of like a loose substitute for the, the Rogue Henny system, or the Henny system, the Rogue cells, or the uh, Gamer arms. Kind of similar, you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. I've been fooling around with it a little bit more, mad scientist kind of style. And what I have here <clears throat> is kind of a loose substitute for, I mean, I know they make like the dumbbell, uh, what the heck do you call them? Basically, like J hooks made specifically for dumbbells. You guys know what I'm talking about, probably, where you, you can set the dumbbell where you want it and, and use it within the power rack. And that's all great. Another thing you have, I can't remember the thing that's coming out, but my buddy Mark, who again brought this idea to me, uh, he's talked about it before. He'll put it in the comments. I know, Mark, I know. What's the product that's coming out that, with the dumbbells that it's all smart and everything? This is kind of like a stupid version of that, but it works. So you take your dumbbells, these are just a couple of 40s here. Let's say I want to do some overhead pressing. And uh, there's an argument that you shouldn't be pressing something that you can't get into place yourself, whether it's a bench, dumbbell bench press, overhead press, whatever. That's a good argument for that. Um, in other words, if you can't clean it up, stay tight, sit down with it, and go, then you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. However, you know, let's say I was doing dog crap, for instance, and I was using 95 pound dumbbells doing triple rest pause sets. It was just a nightmare to get that sucker up, 95 pounds up by the third failed set, or the second failed set starting the third. This would have come into handy quite a bit. So basically what I did was I took these hammock straps, set them to a height that I want the, to start the low end for the dumbbells, and they're already good to go, right? So I can do my set. These don't really interfere. Yeah, you get a little bit of like strap on your arm. You know, I guess maybe it tickles if you're really ticklish. But you can do your set, right? And then just drop it. When you're ready to hit it again, just get into place. You can even like start here. So you can start tight if you need to. And go back, go back and do more. So obviously a couple things I iron out, like me bumping my elbow. Um, basically how I set this up. I know I tend to go breeze through things without showing the details, unless you can come in here. My wife's fellow, thank you, thank you, my dear. Um, I take this hammock strap, so you know, this isn't big enough, it's just about two inches, which is just big enough for a barbell sleeve, but it's not big enough to put a whole dumbbell head through, especially if we're talking like 95 pounds. But what I could do is I took, you just have to see where I put that, thank you. Took something like this, I've talked about these infinity loops a million times. It's just this little nylon strap, tie down strap. Um, ran that through like so, through like this. Then you put one dumbbell head through there. You might want to put it like up on the J hook. That's how I did it. So I kind of balanced it up there, and then ran it through, and then ran, run through the other side. And now it makes like this nice little handle for you. You can do it with bench press, <coughs> you know, because you have these variable heights. Bench press, I suppose, a row variation if you wanted to. You'd probably do just about whatever you want. Um, so, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, if you got any questions about this strap or you got new, more importantly, new exercise ideas, let me know. Chime in. Um, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you, Leslie, for filming.